Hey guys, it's Lance at Max Sound Solutions, and today I just thought I'd make a video about OpenCore in general because there seems to be confusion with different versions of OpenCore. For instance, you have original OpenCore, which is for a Hackintosh. It's for installing Mac OS on a PC. Then you have OpenCore Legacy Patcher, which allows you to install modern Mac OS on an unsupported Mac, like a 2012 MacBook Pro can now have Ventura installed on it, which Apple does not support. Or you have Martin Lowe's OpenCore package, which was specifically designed for the 2009 to 2012 Mac Pro 5,1. I have been using Martin's package since Catalina, so it's been about four years now I've been using it through all the different versions and it's been rock solid. I'm running it right now and I'm running Monterey 12.5.6 and that's probably the end of the road for Martin Lowe's package. But anyway, let's get into it. So OpenCore is an open source bootloader designed to boot macOS on non-Apple hardware. It was first released in October 2018 by the Acidenthra project, which is a group of developers who have been working on various macOS related projects for many years. Since then, OpenCore has become a popular alternative to other bootloaders like Clover and Chameleon. OpenCore first came out in 2019 on Mac Rumors as far as Macs were concerned, and it was specifically only for the Mac Pro 5,1. Initially, you had to do the full OpenCore install like you were doing it for a Hackintosh, and the process was not for the light of heart. And then Martin Lowe came out and simplified the whole thing, making it practically a drag and drop experience. Then came along OpenCore Legacy Patcher, which essentially took OpenCore to a new level of being able to put it on just about any old Mac. So if you want to run a Hackintosh, meaning installing macOS on a standard PC that normally runs Windows, D'Artagna's GitHub page is the place to go to follow the instructions to install OpenCore. And it's far more complicated than using OpenCore Legacy Patcher for a Mac or Martin Lowe's package for the Mac Pro 5.1. Those two methods are extremely easy in comparison to doing OpenCore from scratch to create a Hackintosh. And OpenCore is basically a bootloader. It injects things into memory before the operating system loads. So the initial open core bootloader, which is the first thing that happens when you hit the power button on the computer, tricks Mac OS into thinking it's looking at an Apple computer, not a PC. Now I'm going to talk about Martin Lowe's open core package, which is specific for the 5,1 Mac Pro. And honestly, if you have a Mac Pro 5.1, I would use Martin Lowe's OpenCore package over OpenCore Legacy Patcher. But that being said, if you want to run Ventura on a Mac Pro 5.1, Martin Lowe's package ends at Monterey and will most likely never work with Ventura. The Mac Pro 5.1 is probably never going to be upgradable past Ventura, as the next version of Mac OS will be even more geared towards Apple Silicon and dropping Intel altogether eventually. But if you have a Mac Pro 5.1 and you want to get it up to the modern OS with a modern GPU in there, Martin Lowe's package is the way to go. And it allows you to have multiple versions of Mac OS and even boot into Windows 10 or 11 without boot camp. It's really great. I've been running Windows 11 on my Mac Pro. It's just super fast, super smooth. So now we're going to talk about OpenCore Legacy Patcher finally. And this is the way to go for any other older Mac aside from the Mac Pro 5.1. Although you can use it with a Mac Pro 5.1 as well. I just prefer Martin's package myself. But you can use it. And basically this is using OpenCore and patching the operating system to get your hardware 
to work with the modern Mac OS. You can use a 2012 MacBook Pro, a Mac Mini, iMac, any of the older models that they have on their list as supported. You have to go check on their website and make sure your Mac is supported and that your GPU is supported. For instance, certain GPUs, I have an RX 6800 XT and the RX 6600 XT, they're not supported in Ventura with OpenCore Legacy Patcher, but most older Macs can run Ventura with OpenCore Legacy Patcher or Monterey or even older than that. So if you have an older Mac and you want to get it up to current Mac OS, you can use OpenCore Legacy Patcher. But one thing to understand is Ventura is really pushing towards Apple Silicon and is not designed for the older processors, especially on the Mac Pro 5.1, because it uses AVX2 instructions. Those are not supported within the Mac Pro at all. Basically, OpenCore Legacy Patcher goes in there and hacks the operating system, makes changes in Ventura to basically work around this issue. And it's a major hack. That's why I like sticking with Monterey and Martin Lowe's open core package because it is a non-hacked system. It is a native Apple system. Same goes for a lot of other Macs that are running Ventura. You're running a very hacked OS. There's great communities for open core on Mac Rumors, on Facebook, on Reddit. I left the links in the description. Also check out Greg Grant's definitive Mac Pro upgrade guide. He has a blog with a lot of useful information and he also has some YouTube videos. And for OpenCore Legacy Patcher people, I would recommend Mr. Macintosh here on YouTube. He's got extremely thorough information and guides on how to use OpenCore Legacy Patcher installs and updates. One bit of final advice, when you go on the forums to get help for your OpenCore install, let people know what Mac you have, what graphics card it has, and what version of OpenCore you are actually using. Is it Martin Lowe's package? Is it OpenCore Legacy Patcher? Or did you install OpenCore from scratch? Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, give me that thumbs up, and I'll see you on the next Mac Sound Solutions video.